Welcome Taurus to your weekly reading. This is for the 2nd to the 9th of October. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Taurus, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area you should focus on. The third row is the unexpected energy coming in. The fourth row is messages and advice from spirit. And finally, our fifth row is the possible outcome of the week. This is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. We are going to start off here with two of pentacles and I'm just going to get your clarifier. So let us see now what the Two of Pentacles is for Taurus, please. The Four of Cups. Taurus, what I'm seeing at the beginning of the week, Two of Pentacles is telling me you might be in a position now where you have to make a decision. Now, this could, of course, be in any area of your life. And Two of Pentacles is giving me the energy of you going back and forth, looking at two options. You might be thinking of the pros and cons. You might even write down a list. And the energy of Two of Pentacles is maybe this, maybe that. But what about this? But maybe I should do that. Four of Cups is telling me that at the moment, neither of these two options are exciting you. You know, you've got this energy of, well, I'm not sure. This is not exactly what I wanted. And then again, if I chose this, it's not completely ideal. And you've got this energy of focusing on the empty cups. So you're looking more at the cons rather than the pros. And I feel you might be doing that for both options. Now, what we see happening is that in the Four of Cups, we see the hand of God coming in with a cup, which tells me that one of these options are actually very good for you. But at the moment, my dear Taurus, because you are focusing on all the cons, you can't see anything advantageous and positive. So you're being asked now to look at everything again. Whatever this is for you, it could come up in regards to choosing a home, deciding on a job, deciding on what car to buy. It could be anything, Taurus. You're being asked now to go back to the drawing board and look at the pros. Look at what is going to fill you up. Look at the good things, because when you do that, things are going to become much clearer for you. Let's move on now and see what the Eight of Wands energy is that is sitting in the area that you should focus on. So we want to see now what the Eight of Wands energy is for. Taurus, please. The Queen of Wands. Taurus, you are coming through as Queen of Wands. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are speaking about. You are being asked this week to work with Queen of Wands energy. And Queen of Wands is a very interesting queen. On the one side, she's a go-getter. She gets out there. She makes things happen. She speaks to people. She networks. She doesn't sit back. But a very important part of her is connected to spirit. The little ginger cat at her feet speaks to us of her connectivity to divine. This is the queen who does her prayers, her rituals, visualizations, meditations. She believes she is a co-creator with spirit in bringing about manifestations in her life. What we see now is that when you work with our Queen of Wands energy this week, my dearest Tauruses, things are going to happen. Things are going to move. 
this energy is going to go completely. This is the round and round, nothing happening energy. But as soon as you take control, as soon as you understand that you are co-creating with spirit and do whatever comes easy for you in terms of prayers and meditations, whatever's easy, my dear Tauruses, when you do that, my gosh, Taurus, things are going to happen so quickly for you. The right people are going to come in. You're going to be in the right place at the right time. There's going to be a lot of synchronicities and serendipities happening in your favor. So this, my dear Taurus, is what you focus on this week. You work with Queen of Wands energy and things are going to change significantly out of this energy. Now let us move on and see what the devil energy is that is sitting in your unexpected. Right, let us see now what the devil energy is for Taurus, please. The star. Oh my gosh, look at this energy, Taurus. Taurus, this devil energy, I do believe, is the energy that you might be feeling with our Two of Pentacles, Four of Cups energy. And what this tells me is that this could have been going on for some time. And you know, when you are stuck in a position where you can't make a decision and things start to look so gloomy and nothing looks positive and you feel like the only options you have are not great options, you start to feel our devil energy. You feel trapped. You feel suppressed. You feel that there's nothing going for you. You've got to make do with these two choices that are not your first choices. And we see that this really could have been quite a negative and hard period for you. However, unexpectedly, once you work with our Queen of Wands energy, things start to move, things start to flow. You are able to unchain yourself from this energy completely. As we saw this already beginning to release once you worked with our Queen of Wands energy, and look what is coming in. The star. And the star is the energy, my dear Taurus, of you now releasing out of the devil and letting your blessings and great possibilities come in. Everything you wished for, everything you hoped for, now comes in. It's about seeing those positive aspects. Put the cons behind you. Focus on the positive. Things are going to start to become clear. With the star coming in this week, we see an incredible shift coming in. And we cannot see it more dramatically than what is sitting in your unexpected. From the devil energy to the energy of feeling blessed. Feeling like your blessings now are raining down upon you. What a lovely energy to see. Let's see now what our Five of Cups energy is that is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. So we want to see now what the Five of Cups is for Taurus, please. What is this Five of Cups energy? The Page of Cups. What a lovely confirmation. Spirit wants you to know, my dear Taurus, that this is not a time to be in the energy of regret, remorse about anything. It could be about the time you have spent in this energy, the time you have spent feeling like nothing was going for you, nothing was happening for you. Spirit wants you to know, don't waste time looking at things that have passed the spilled milk. What has happened in the past, let it remain in the past. Focus on your two cups standing because you are about to have good news. See good things coming in for you. Page of Cups tells me something is happening. Something's coming through. It could 
very much have to do with that cup presenting itself in our Four of Cups. But you see something, you hear something, and this is going to change everything. Spirit doesn't want you to be in the energy of, oh, I should have done that, and why didn't I say that? Oh, and I could have done that. Let it go. New things are coming in, new possibilities, new choices, and this is what Spirit wants you to focus on. So we have wonderful advice coming through there. Now let us see what the Four of Wands energy is that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. Right, let's see now. What is this Four of Wands energy for Taurus, please? Ace of Wands, wow. What an incredibly auspicious energy coming out at the end of the week. Taurus, what we see at the end of the week is the hand of God coming through with the wand of infinite possibility. You now are going to be able to really have the possibility of working with our Queen of Wands energy, taking that wand and creating something new establishing something that you want to bring about. The Ace of Wands energy always gives the energy of the baton in the relay race. It's now your turn to take the baton given to you by the hand of God and create something, my dear Taurus. Like with all Aces, the Ace of Wands is the beginning of something but you have been given something here and we see that it is blessed. There's a lot of possibility here. I do see by the end of the week, you're going to be feeling great. You write out of this energy and you want to celebrate because you feel the possibility. You are excited and you cannot wait to get going in whatever this is. There is great relief when we get out of this energy. Can you imagine going from devil energy into star energy? That in itself is a massive reason to get up there and celebrate. And celebrate, my dear Taurus, because this is truly a wonderful transformation coming in here. Let's move on now and see what your spirit animal is for this week. So we just want to see now what Taurus's spirit animal is for this week, please. Let's see what we have here, Taurus. And you have got number 51, Sandpiper Spirit, Be Playful. Now, isn't that an interesting energy? Because we see the devil energy and the five of cups, and yet Sandpiper Spirit is coming through and asking you to be playful. So, the number 51 is your lucky number. Any combination or variation of the numbers five and one, please consider very auspicious. The sandpiper is your spirit animal. So wherever the sandpiper comes up for you, this too is a blessed sign. And your message is, be playful. And my dear Tauruses, when we look at the energy, we can understand once you release out of our devil energy and you start to feel the star energy coming in for you, you're going to want to celebrate, be playful, have fun this week, enjoy what is transpiring, enjoy the process of this incredible shift because it is an incredible shift. Acknowledge it by being light of heart and having fun. So my dear Taurus, this looks like a great week for you. That's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.